Let's take a look at the seven day temperature trend for us. We're going to see those uh, temperatures well above where we should be for this time of year. Uh, with the average high now in the upper 50s and low 60s, we'll be in the upper 60s for Sunday. Some of us climbing into the lower 70s as well. Monday, slightly cooler thanks to increased cloud cover and rain chances. 67 for the high on Tuesday. Wednesday, southerly flow is increasing at ahead of a cold front that will help us warm well into the upper 60s and lower 70s despite some cloud cover as well. But with that cold front comes that significant cool down. We're going from a high of 70 on Wednesday to a high of 34 on Thursday. And then Friday morning, not showing the low temperatures, but uh, likely to drop into the upper teens for many of us. Let's take a closer look at what we can expect, though, temperature wise for your day tomorrow on Sunday. It's going to be quite nice out there. We'll see mainly sunny skies with clouds increasing a bit towards uh, the mid afternoon hours. But despite the increase in clouds, we'll still climb into the upper 60s and even a few spots in the lower. Or seven days as well. Once the sun sets, temperatures will start to drop off into the upper 50s by 9 o'clock and then into the mid 50s by midnight. But the temperatures will kind of slow their cooling trend overnight thanks to the clouds continuing to increase. This is out ahead of the next storm system that is set to move in on Monday, uh, which will bring some rain to our area, mainly in DP Texas. By midnight, uh, Sunday into Monday, rains well off to our west, but we will be tracking this activity as it makes its way towards the east. Again, deep east Texas, primarily Houston, Trinity counties, you look to have the best chance of seeing some rain. It could be locally moderate to heavy at times, but no significant concerns. If you get north of Interstate 20, your rain chances decrease significantly and not expecting much in the way of accumulations of snowfall, of uh, rainfall there. Let's take a look at the rainfall deficit, though, for uh, the month of January across the area, and we are all running below where we should be. In fact, haven't even seen an inch of rain in Tyler and Longview, so we'll, we'll need to get the rain as much as possible here. Lufkins, you've seen a good amount, but still below where it should be for this time of year. We'll get another rainmaker move in on Wednesday with a cold front. And then what happens behind the cold front? Well, there's still a lot of questions. At this point, though, a wintry mix does appear possible in uh, the pink shaded area here into the day on a Thursday. However, it's still too early to determine any amounts and any impacts that those amounts may have. So make sure to check back uh, for updates. Again, some of the uncertainty includes we'll have dry air coming in. Is it dry enough where we don't see any precipitation making it to the ground? It's also possible that the ground is just too warm for this stuff to accumulate anyway. So there's a lot of uncertainty there, something you'll want to keep up to date with the latest forecasts on. But one thing's for sure, by the end of the week, it's going to get very cold. Morning lows dropping into the teens by Friday morning. Very cold start then. We'll see a very, very slow warm up into next weekend. For Deep East Texas, again, a better chance for rain Monday and then much colder heading into the day on Thursday.